So now we start the CMA process. Now to do a CMA here in Paragon, there's two ways you can start. You can start by clicking on CMA first, then hitting Create Presentation. And that will start the CMA wizard. In this case, you get your comparables on step two. Let's close that out. Or you can start by getting your comps first by clicking on search. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to start by clicking search. And then you are going to click the class based on your subject property. So I'll click residential here. And there we are. So once you click residential, this will take you to the residential search form. Now there's plenty of ways to get comms. You can choose your way, whatever uh, way feels comfortable for you. The way that I'm going to show today is a quick way to get them by using the map here. It doesn't matter if you put in your criteria first or if you do your map first. So we're going to start with the map. I'll click mapping here. Once I click mapping, this will open up the map to my office. But to get our comps, I'm going to start with going to address search here. And I'll type in the address of my subject property. Okay. So I'll put in the house number, street name, comma, zip. That's good enough. By putting in the address, when I click the magnifying glass, it will center the map on that property. So as long as I don't zoom in or zoom out or pan the map, we are right in the center of the map. Next to the address search, you have a number of miles you can draw. So normally when you get comps, they go about two miles in below. Completely up to you. In this case, I'll go a mile by just simply putting one. I could have put 1.5, 1 1.2, 1 3, completely up to you. And just hit draw. Okay. That automatically drew a mile around that subject property. And inside of that shape, we have 24 listings. Now, those aren't necessarily comps because we haven't put in any other criteria yet. They're just active listings inside the shape. Another little tip here, the radius may not always work. It may spill over to an area that may not be comparable. So what you also can do is click draw, top left hand corner, and you could have drawn a polygon or something like that just by clicking and draw a shape that best fits your uh, area. Let's get rid of that. So now we have our shape. What I want to do here is I want to hit add to criteria. And notice now that shape is part of my search. From here, we're just going to put in criteria based on our subject property. In this case, my subject property is detached. I do not need a zip code or market area because my shape has taken the place of that. But for status here, you can bring an active, back on market, pending, sold, contingent, completely up to you. I only want these four. And since we do have sold, remember that off market status is 15 years worth of data. So I need a close of escrow date. I can go down to close of escrow, manually put it in, or I can use the date range. Commonly used is about 90 days back, six months, depending on the area. I'll go six months back. And then we'll skip over price here. That will defeat the purpose. Go to bedrooms. Now my subject property is a five bedroom, but that fifth bedroom was an addition. 
So what I'll do is I'll do four to five. It has three bathrooms, so we'll do three and three. When it comes to putting in your bedrooms, bathrooms, things like that, it really is up to you. If you want to do a range or if you want to do exactly what the subject property has, that's perfectly fine. And then you also need a square foot range. Okay, so I'll do about 25 to 35. And I have one comp. Okay, so let's move that off here. And we can just continue to adjust it if we need to. We'll expand it a little bit more. Let's do 23. It's 38. There we go. Based on my criteria, I have eight comps. If that is okay with you, you can move forward by hitting search, or you can put in more criteria, maybe a year bill, depending on the area. There may be brand new homes next to older homes. So what I can do here is just simply hit search to see what we come out with. And there we are. Three active, one pending, four sold. Now, if I would like to use these as comps, I'll just simply check them all. You will move your mouse over Actions and hit Add to CMA. Or you could have just checked the ones that you would like to use, but I want to use all eight. So I'll just simply hit Add to CMA. The system will then ask, do you want to use the selected, all listings, just the current listing? And would you like to add this to a brand new presentation or to an existing presentation? I said brand new. And this also starts the wizard. So there you go. That's how you get your comps and upload them into the CMA. If you have any more questions, you can always email us, training at sandacor.com, or give us a call, 858-373-4014.